Hi everybody, this is Trina and I'm here with Meyer Rosen at Ink Cosmetics North America. Now I saw a session that you did on vibrational cosmetics. What is that? Oh my goodness. Well, the simple answer. Okay. I don't think there is a complicated answer yet. <laughs> the simple answer is our body is more than a bunch of organs. Okay, well that's good to know. <laughs> We've been compartmentalized mm -hmm. and uh, the skin is the biggest one. But actually, if you look at the electrical properties of the skin, okay. you'll find that it varies. Uh, and um, one of the ancient uh, traditional uh, research, if I would call it that, for thousands of years is Chinese medicine okay. and also Ayurvedic medicine yes. from India. Right, exactly. I just did a visit to India in, I believe it was in February, and when I heard vibrational cosmetics, that's what it made me think of, was in India, uh, there's a tie-in between beauty and health and then also wellness and the spirit. What we have is a uh, an electrical system. Okay. Our whole body is uh, chemicals that yes. react, that produce a bioelectric fields. Right. Let me have you repeat that again. Our whole body is made out of, say it? Chemicals. Chemicals. So don't be afraid of them. They're not that bad. Right. right. Biochemicals. That's us. <laughs> and uh, mm -hmm. they emit an electrical field. Okay. And on the surface of the skin, and in, in our intestines, which we uh, fondly call the gut, <laughs> um, there are zillions, uh, that's too low a number, okay. there are zillions of, of these wow. little creatures, and they're composed of uh, s s genes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and proteins, right. and um, they affect our well-being. Yes, In I fact, they, I think they control our well-being because if you look for the origin right. of who we are mm -hmm. and how well we are right. and how good we look, yes. it all starts not with what we smear on our face, okay. but it starts with what's going on with our microbiome. Right, right. Okay, so going back to the charge on the skin and tying this all together, how is it that our cosmetics are vibrational? What does that mean? Does that refer to wellness? Does it refer to more, more than that? And what ingredients are we putting in there to, um, to make it more vibrational, I guess? Sure. Mm -hmm. um, whether you're talking about Chinese medicine or you're talking about Ayurvedic medicine, Okay. Um, it, it, uh, practically speaking, if you take a, um, a device called a uh, transdermal, that's across the skin, okay. neuroelectric detector. Ooh, I don't know where I'd get one of those advices, or devices, but if I did, what would I do with it? And you run it along your skin, okay. your face, your body, right. you'll find that the surface of the skin changes its electrical conductivity right okay and and you'll find points that are very different than others mm -hmm. and they happen to be called acupuncture points uh, and okay. they happen to be called uh chakras in ayurveda oh interesting this is actually really fascinating to me because what you're doing is you're basically tying in things i've heard right in terms of indian medicine um, and Chinese medicine with actual scientific. Exactly. Yeah, I, actual scientific information. Exactly. So uh, if you ever thought the two worlds were separate, maybe this is the connection here. Yes, and I'm, I'm, I think I'm the first one to make the connection uh, in public or certainly. Well, that's uh, great. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so when you find a point on the body right. that is uh, too positive or too negative, mm -hmm. if you treat it in a variety of ways mm -hmm. you can normalize the point I see. and so you Im uh, you improve the performance of the the way the energy flows right in chinese medicine they call it chi the chi in, we're getting into the chi here with the science all right and in, in uh, ayurvedic medicine mm -hmm. it's called uh, prana prana okay it's, i think it's the same thing this is so very cool. So how do we actually actualize this in a cosmetic formula? If people are interested in getting more in tune vibrationally, what would one look for? 
Well, we're all looking for now natural products. Okay. Because we think, uh, at least social media thinks, uh, if I could say that without being too harsh, <laughs> harsh, um, that natural is better. Right. And what we're talking about really is anything that's uh, natural, it gives off its own vibration. Right. And so if you eat something or you put it on your, let's take put on your face, mm -hmm. and you, um, you put the right substance on the right spot, mm -hmm. which is defective in terms of, it's like um, if you had a fuse in the old days, electricity uh, would pass through a fuse and right. the fuse would blow. Mm -hmm. Well, if you think about the electricity as being the bioelectric energy, right. if there's a blockage there, because you have a scar, for example, right. um, or you have a wrinkle. Mm -hmm. By putting the right kind of natural ingredient on that spot, you can neutralize the um, and make the energy flow better. Okay, so and speaking of energy, does this have anything to do with ions that we put into cosmetics? Or? Well, the ions are in the, in the chemistry and the okay. chemicals. Right, right. Um, they may, th their flow mm -hmm. makes the energy uh, that we're talking about. I see. And you could actually detect it. We have people that, that can detect uh, that kind of uh, right. energetic flow. And the idea is if you're trained, you, you know uh, if you want to get wrinkles over here, get rid of them. Yes. Or you want to, better yet, yes. you want to <laughs> stop them from forming. That's even better. Preventative measures. Yes, we've been talking a little so bit about that today. You can do, you can both topical uh, ingredients that do that. Okay. You can do these um, certain massages. You can meditate right. with a brain um, measuring device. Uh, and Or you can eat something mm -hmm. that goes into your whole body and uh, we call those nutraceuticals or right. on the surface we call them cosmeceuticals. The idea is this is a lifelong pursuit that you want to uh, start when you're young mm -hmm. and uh, if you adhere to it the right diet that's the uh, one of the speakers here today right uh, if you go to the right kind of practitioner who mm -hmm. practices either the Ayurvedic or the uh, the Chinese version right and, um, hopefully you will look better feel better and um, and have um, wellness. Thank you for making yourself available and talking to me about this new concept and idea. Oh, you're welcome. And I, I'd like to mention one, one thing. Sure. Uh, in Cosmetics is, uh, as announced in their book they gave out to everybody, my, uh, the ebook version of Harry's Cosmeticology. Yes. The ninth edition. Uh huh. And, uh, that's it's the oldest go-to book 60 years started wow, in the UK 60 years and of knowledge all in one book okay and Har Harry's the uh, uh, that was the last name of the person whose mm -hmm. whose wife type typed it up oh uh, wow I found out okay and, um, and I, so you'll I, have something in this book I'm the editor-in-chief of that's the book. where I remember your name I was saying earlier I remembered his name from somewhere there it is that's and, it. and I have uh, 150 authors in all areas of cosmetics. That's almost right. I had all. the pleasure of meeting some of them today and they're pretty knowledgeable people. So thank you so, so much oh, and we'll catch up again soon. And thank you guys. Keep watching. More to come. All right. Take care. Bye.